Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here, back with another video. In this video, I wanna show you guys how you can use Ableton Sampler to actually do granular synthesis. Now, before we get into the video, I do wanna say that this video is sponsored by Sonarworks. Sonarworks creates an incredible piece of software and hardware that actually allows you to analyze your studio setup for issues in the acoustics, and it will try and compensate it. I think it's a must have for anyone with a studio, big or small. So if you wanna check it out, head down to the description of this video. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the concept of today's video is using micro loops within a sample or grains to actually achieve a tone and use as the basis of our sound in synthesis. The nice thing is using Ableton Sampler, it's super easy to do this. So the whole idea is you wanna grab a sample, ideally something with a little bit of low end content or a nice fundamental going on, something with tone and pitch. So avoid white noise, avoid hi-hats, things like that. So in this case, just to show you how cool it is, I'm gonna demonstrate it first with a snare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the snare and the first thing you wanna do is turn on the sustain mode inside of Sampler. You can do either forward back or forward forward mode. I'm gonna start with forward forward. And what you wanna do is you want to also link it so the start arrow sticks to the loop. And you wanna create a really small loop. So let's trigger this. See how once you get to a certain point, you actually achieve a pitch. Now what's super cool about this and easy to do is if you grab Ableton's tuner, we can now play a note. See that when I'm holding C, this is C sharp. So super easy. What we do is we set the root note to C sharp. And we just detune it till it's in place. And now we're playing in concert tuning. Now what's fun about this is once you have the loop set, you can scroll through the sample. And it'll be the same pitch because the loop is the same amount of time. So that's it with a snare. What other kind of things can we do it with? Sure, this sample here. So same concept, we have our whole sound. And you loop tight enough. That you get a pitch. Once you have the pitch, you have to set it correctly. Now, why would we want to do it in here instead of a different granular synthesizer? Well, the thing I like about Ableton samplers, A, if you have Ableton, you have it. So that's one advantage. But B, you have some other perks. You have a pitch envelope. So the pitch envelope section, we could add some punch to this really easy. <laughs> We have an FM section, which is kind of fun. On top of that, we have a filter section here. So if we wanted to make this more of a pluck, we could do so. We could use the pitch, the filter envelope. There's distortion in the filter section, either pre or post filter. And all those things combined, we can just get some really cool results. Like we just took my voice and turned it into, that's like a really nice house pluck. So I know that was a super quick video, but I just want to open your guys' eyes to the ability to do granular synthesis within Sampler. So thanks again, guys. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And I'll be back soon with another video. Peace.